you were teammates together from when he came into the league in 2004 until you retired in 2014. What would be your message to Big Ben after last night's win again and what is likely his final time playing at Heinz Field? Can't nobody play quarterback in that city and how they played it and how he played it in that city other than Big Ben. Um, and we talked about that as players. Uh, we, we, and I went against the Peyton Manning's. I went against the Tom Brady's. I went against the Drew Brees. That's three Hall of Famers. I went against the, uh, the Eli Manning's. They're going to another Hall of Fame. I, I went against the tough Philip Rivers as well. But seven, playing hurt, you know, elbow, foot, knee, shoulder. Um, what happened to him when he got in that, that motorcycle accident, the car wreck, coming back the same year, a, a mouthful of dentures, uh, concussions, like seven, seven built to play football in Pittsburgh. And not too many people built to play football, especially quarterback in Pittsburgh. So he embraced the city and the city is hardworking, blue collar. Let me still bring my lunchbox to work. The city is, man, we don't do fancy cars. All we drive is pickup trucks and SUVs. The city has uh, got its own little unique Yenzer sound, you know, Primanti brother kind of sandwiches when you get a sandwich and you just throw everything on that sandwich. You know, it's, it's a hard, it's a man we love all seasons of the year, but we especially love the wintertime. It's a different city, man. And Seven embrace, and he is that city. You know, that's, that's what he brings to the table. He brings that grit. He bring that count me out if you want to watch what happened. Watch what I do mentality. And it's been a lot of times where I didn't have the front row seat or seven, you know, like, oh, there goes somebody about to get the sack on him. And he'll just pull a Houdini because he was big and strong, wind up making the play. Like seven been doing that out the yeah. course of his career. Yeah. You know, uh, guys helping seven up off the ground. You think he might be down for the count. Little do you know, man, you got to take one. You got to take one playoff, then you're allowed to get back in the game. Now eleven, I mean now seven back in the game. He made the play. He won it up. He won the game for us. Seven going to going to when we played <clears throat> when we played in that Super Bowl against the Arizona Arizona Cardinals when Larry Fitz was just breaking all kind of Jerry Rice records. And I was like, man, this dude gonna give me hell. And what seven do on the last drive? You can't throw a better play to San Antonio. You can't throw a better ball to San Antonio Holmes in the back of the end zone. Fingertips. I mean, you got two defenders. Sit for Arizona, man, they fingertips, barely scratched the ball. And Ben only can put it into place, well, only Ben can put it into place at. And that was the back of the end zone to San Antonio Holmes to win that Super Bowl. That's what Seven do. That's what Seven have done. You know, Seven just, he's a, he's a unique, he's a competitor. Seven was my shuffle boy, my shuffle boy part in the locker room. We won championships. We won, we won belts when it came. If you want to play Seven in the game or pick up basketball, he's going to smoke you. If you want to play seven in the game with Shuffle Boy, he's going to smoke you. If you want to play seven in the game of ping pong, he was going to smoke you. If you want to play seven in the game of pool, he was going to smoke you. Now, we get on there on that golf course, he's definitely going to smoke you. What, that's seven just – tell me something seven couldn't do. He just so happened to be a future Hall of Famer for the Pittsburgh Steelers going, going to the Hall of Fame at the quarterback position. That's, that's, that's what seven was, man. Seven was just – you know, go all the way drop a few people like him around where they just – well, he just give them to do pretty much whatever they want to do and be good at and <laughs> be good at. So, but yeah, that's seven, man. Seven, seven is, seven is Pittsburgh. Seven is, I, I can name all, <clears throat> I can name all the other, excuse me. I can name all the other, all the other Hall of Fame that I played against and a lot of props. Could none of them play in Pittsburgh, but seven did it his own unique way, improving his all-time record against the Browns, 26-3-1 and one in his playing career. All 18 seasons with the Pittsburgh Steelers of his NFL career, unless you count the Gotham Rogues from the Dark Knight Rises movie, which was used the Steelers in that movie. But I, the play I think of with big Ben Roethlisberger is the first Super Bowl run you went on, the 2005 season. And I think back to the playoff game against the Colts, where Jerome Bettis fumbles down on the goal line, and it's Ben Roethlisberger having to make a tackle as a quarterback. 
how many other players, how many other quarterbacks would have been able to make that same exact play. So yeah, you've got the, the 08 season and the Super Bowl that you had in 2009 against the Cardinals and that magical drive going down the field with San Antonio Holmes. But I also think about the tackle that he made to preserve the Steelers season for six seed to win a Super Bowl as well. That's the play that I think of. But getting to see him do it one final time at Heinz Field, it was really a special moment last night. It was great to see that he was swept up in the emotion. His family was there. What it meant to the current players on the team and former players that were also there. Heinz Field was terrific last night. Coach Tomlin even said as such after the fact. And I thought it was a fitting tribute for Big Ben Roethlisberger in in, in a game where he throws the ball 43 times, only has 123 passing yards. But the Steelers able to get it done thanks to the effort of several of the other players, which we'll get into here on today's show. But I thought it was a fitting tribute because Ben Roethlisberger, in his 18 years in Pittsburgh, he did it in his own unique way. Yeah, he did. And he's supposed to because he deserved it, you know. Ben, ben has been playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers for a while now, you know, over 15 years. So the young man deserved to get whatever recognition he is. Like, you know, a lot of people who texted me last night, man, they crying. Like, seven, seven going to be gone after this year. And I just told the man, walk into a life of football. <laughs> that's how it is. That's, <laughs> that's the business side of football, man. Yeah, as, as athletes, do you want to play forever? Yeah, but, you know. You know, in a professional sports, it wind up just being a young man's sport. But for seven, and what he have done, not only to the city, to the organization, not only the opportunities, the comebacks, the game-winning drives, the toughness to, the, to, to, to win Super Bowls and to win games. I, myself, personally, you know, Ike Taylor want to thank Big Ben for, for, for being as tough as he is, for making the plays he has made, for playing as long as he played. For, for for making it to the Hall of Fame. So now I get to now I get to say I play with another Hall of Fame, you know. And and seven is one of them. And I proudly say that. So there we go on that one. But congrats to seven. Had a heck of a run, had a heck of a season, had a heck of a, a career. And uh even though I would never make the Hall of Fame, I would proudly say seven is another one of the guys who I've played with out the course of my career who has made or, or will be in the Hall of Fame first battle. 